Looking to expand your playlist? Well, Fat Lulz Radio has got you covered. Your nerd culture get dissected on the Fickle Fanboy with RPM. Get your fill of uncensored talk radio with the Robin Slim Show. Hear funny and interesting interviews on Unseriously Serious. Get the best life advice from Jerry and Cal on From the Bottom. Delve into the dark side of the internet with What the Fuck with Dan and Jess. Go across the pond for some British humor with the Ped and Meller Show. And if you're looking to get involved, air your grievances with all things nerdy on the League of Infuriated Nerds. All these shows and more await you at Fat Wolves Radio. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you can find our shows on all different types of podcasts apps as well as iTunes. Be sure to check us out. Fat Lowell's Radio. Stuff full of entertainment. From the bottom. From the bottom. You know we go. Hey. From the get go, don't forget to follow us on iTunes. Subscribe. Follow us on Spreaker. Check us out on YouTube. And YouTube again. You know, leave a review. Like our Facebook page from the bottom. Is it from the bottom? 504 from the bottom. Uh, For what? Our uh, YouTube page. Try both of them. Just try from the bottom. If that don't work, try from just the look bottom. Just for two. Five, yeah, just look for two black guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> check us out on Twitter from the bottom five zero four. We very active on there as well. Mm-hmm. You know, send us your questions, your concerns, anything you want us to talk about. That's what we're here for. For to spread the knowledge. No, nah, wait a minute. We ain't spread too much knowledge. Not but in a way, we just talk. We yeah. just talk. So, you know, that's what you want to hear on here. No. Just let us know. If you want to hear knowledge, we do research. No, nah, we ain't doing no research either. Nah, I do research. Okay, he do research. I do some research. Not me. If it's not off the top of the dome, I just go home. And resume. Or grab my phone. GTS. But let's start it. <laughs> wake up Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up Wake up again Go back to sleep, take it now, wake up again We coming to you live From the live. bottom five Oh Four You know Cal and Jay up in the building Almost every day Every day, coming to y'all We gonna get to the point where we in our own Recording studio like we are now But in our own official studio where We got speakers <laughs> That's on point. Yeah. And we live. We live too, but we got to edit and everything. Man, we, we got to start live. doing video. You know what, son? We got to Snapchat this right now. I'm about to Snapchat this right now. Can you put Snapchat on Twitter? I don't know. I don't know. How many people follow us on Snapchat? Not that many? Yeah. I don't, well, I don't we don't got no Snapchat far from the bottom, but... You can follow our own personal pages to get a more detailed look into what we do, how we move, how we groove. How we in these shoes. Mm. How we play by our own rules. Tell them how we roll like police is not patrolling. How we do work on cars with no tools. Bam. We know pity the fools. Thank you. Hold up. Let me turn this camera around, man. We about to get up in this, man. But you Snapchat it now. It's going to be before we come. Oh, yeah, okay. we're going to have to Snapchat and see if it could, we can put it on our Facebook, on our uh, Twitter page. Can we put it on our Twitter page? I don't know. At your boy, from the bottom, Cal, J, as the Zay, you heard me? Y'all got to, don't mind the clothes. We got kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's see all you can bad, save. Man. See if you can save. But let's go and get this going. What we got? What do we have going today? What what kind of question do we have? I got something to start off quite early. You know why? Why consistency is important? What do you think? So why? I think consistency is important. Would well, pertain to what kind of feel of being persistent. Consistent. Well, 
It could be good, and then some of them could be. Are you bad. talking about like for work or just all around, just consistent? For the to better yourself. Well, I think that's good because if you're consistent, that help more people believe that you're gonna do what you say. Come through. Yeah, because they know that you know you're consistent. Mm-hmm. You know now if you're not consistent, then that's when things can be quite tricky. Yeah, because people ain't gonna go by your word, you know, because you ain't, you don't stay by your word very often. Yeah, but like if you always doing what you say and you're very consistent, people will elevate you to a another level as far as dependability. You know, or like if you releasing stuff like ever so often, like what we do with this podcast then people tend to look for the stuff when it comes because mm-hmm. they know it's coming mm-hmm. and what day is coming because that's how consistent you are. are with it. Yeah. You know, what What you think? Nah, man, the way you put it, I don't know if I should say anything after that, but... <laughs> yeah, that is but good. No, that was um, good. Huh? Consistency, like they say, if you're consistent with a workout 30 days, man, you will see the results. And to be honest with you, if you're consistent when it comes to a week, because some people, some people have to start in increments. They have to set, like, actual small goals in order to be consistent with major goals. So say it's like um, coffee. If you're a, co- a coffee holic, you know, like I am, and I buy coffee, I try not to buy it as often, but, you know. Just six days a week. Just, you know, six days a week. No, no, I, I cut it down to three. If that, because, you know, we do buy coffee, <clears throat> excuse me, from the store so we can have it ready. But uh, you will see, if you ever wondering where the money going, you can see, oh, man, I'm buying too much coffee. So you stop buying coffee and you will see it. Be like, man, it was the coffee that was doing that. But uh, like a workout. If you say, man, I'm going to cut back on Eating all the drinking all these soft drinks or eating all these hamburgers, Chick fil A, or whatnot, you know, all them uh, them slurpees, you will see the consistency. And once you start stop, uh, stop, once you stop and you start eating healthier, then you will see and you can tell by the consistency because your body it starts to, um, I guess it starts to revive itself and then it's better. You're getting healthier, and once you start to go. To lean backwards a little bit, you can tell because your body freaks out. I had somebody tell me the other, uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, Ant, shout out to Ant. He said, Man, I was eating healthy, man, eating salads, eating fish, eating baked, you know, baked stuff. Big healthy and stuff. A small Ant. Big Ant. Okay. And he said, I know um, small Ant. <laughs> <laughs> Shake like a little Oompa Loompa. <laughs> All right, go on, keep going. He's a marshmallow fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he said he ate. I forgot what it was. I think it was like maybe some Chinese food or it was something else. Just that one time for the night. I think he said he ate at, at a buffet. He said, man, he had to be jizz one morning, man. And I'm like, that because you was consistent on a healthy basis. And all of a sudden, man, Put you kind of garbage in you, man. So you can tell when you consistent at something, because if you constantly injecting garbage in you, your body ain't going to know. But, you know, consistency, it helps. But I ain't going to say that for drug addicts because some drug addicts are <laughs> consistent. <laughs> they will, man, work a job for about a month, get that check. Deuces. They consistent about that. Yeah, they are. They are. You got a point there. So, you know, consistency and there's different levels and different aspects. For the bad, you shouldn't be consistent in the bad. <laughs> what, you said you shouldn't be consistent? You shouldn't in the bad. Oh, when it's in when it's going down the wrong. I thought you said the bed. No. I said I think it's probably well, you want to be. consistent. You will want to be consistent in the bed because if you don't, it's it's like well for guys they have to get that little blue pill. Some of them, and sometimes it's red. Mm, no, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> oh man, I remember one time at Walgreens. Why kid you not? <clears throat> I was uh, a. <laughs> I always talk about Walgreens. I got more stories than in anything. But uh, this guy came up to me. He didn't know how to speak very, you know, very clear English. 
So he said, hey, do you know where I can find some Vigora? I'm like, whoa, Vigora, man, what is Vigora? He said, Vigora. <laughs> and he took his fist and he went up to like, the, he punched his hand with an open fist. Like, I'm like, what What does that uh, mean? Uh, he said, uh, Vigora. Uh, I'm like, Vigora, what is, is that an a, a allergy pill? That's what it sounds like, right? So I asked the foreman, so I said, hey, do y'all do do we sell Vigora? Do you have Vigora behind the counter? He said, uh, you mean Viagra? I'm like, oh He did the fist with the He yeah, yeah. yeah. He's trying to show you that he's rock solid. No, he tried then he trying to you know he wants to be rock solid. <laughs> Just about to say yeah. <laughs> He was trying to show me his future plans. I'm like, say player what? <laughs> I'm like, oh my fault. Trying to make fault, his third dog. leg stand up. Man, that's all bad. I'm like, oof. But uh, <laughs> how did we even get on that? <laughs> oh, you said consistent. No, you talk about you said with the pill. You're right. You said with the pill. That's how I started. But nah, man. Uh, we have a uh, something else. What Zombies. Oh Low. man, I know it's a lot of y'all who really believe in the living dead. Uh, Walking Dead and Masso. Resident Evil and all that stuff. Masso. The only zombies I know right now is the ones that's on K2. But uh, luckily they haven't came to a neighborhood neighborhood near me yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, so one day, it's story time. Story time with Cal. <laughs> so uh, one day I'm riding with my mother-in-law. You know, we sitting there just chilling. Nice day. Just cruising. And uh, she told me we had to talk about Trump. Trump, Donald Trump. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Donald, Donald, Donald. So she was like, you know, all these places got these nuclear weapons. She said, now who gonna who are they gonna hit first? I'm thinking Alaska. She's like, no, they're gonna hit Seattle. And then you know what's gonna happen when they hit Seattle? What? Everybody gonna turn to zombies. <laughs> Just out the religious zombies. Yeah, so I'm like, this when I said, you gotta stop looking at those scary movies. I'm like, what you think this is, a Resident Evil? You know, can you imagine somebody really, how many people really believe in zombies and stuff? Man. Sometimes, you know what? I just seen a clip. I don't even know if this was real, but you can't really believe everything you see on TV. But I was overseas somewhere, and I seen this big UFO. I think I seen that. You did, yeah. But I don't know. You can't go with that now, cause you can't. The way people be doing so many videos. No, the reason why I said is simply because if they're still discovering planets, what's actually on these planets? Well, I was just wondering. The UFO came all the way down here and then stopped. It it was cruising. And then I know. It so rolled. that mean to tell you that even the alien knew this world messed up. Man. Because it came down here and checked us out like. You have to get out of here. Yeah. We got to get out of here. Trump's running it. He'd be like, these people messed up for real. Oh, would be like, oh, I'm again in a couple. <laughs> But no, man, that, not even that. It's just, you have to think about it, man. If we just the small planet like we are and space is as big as it is, there has to be more life. There has to be more life. And honestly, at some point, I'm pretty sure if we have astronauts on the moon, there's a space station. I'm pretty sure they've encountered much more than what they say. Or tell us. Well, they don't want people to freak out. They don't want people to freak out. But at the same time, man, we if we were to get an unexpected trip, it's going to be like Independence Day in this piece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking on one of those, man, honestly, the dreams that you have sometimes it may send you so many subliminal messages. Yeah, you got and, a point and some things make you wonder. Where in the world did why did we start talking about aliens? What was you the got, cause? You the, got a point. The Roswell. I guess some dreams do be messages because I be having some dreams. Man, I wasn't gonna tell nobody, but since y'all my audience, I guess I'll let y'all know. Let them know. 
more like a nightmare for me. <laughs> you know, you ever get those dreams when you just walking? Mm-hmm. You know, down an empty road, no car, nobody out. Mm-hmm. Late night, I don't know where I'm going. I'll be thinking I'll be going to get something to eat. And you feel like somebody chasing you. And you can never. So you run. That's how I know it's a dream because I hate running in real life. And they catch you. You turn around. It's the mailman yeah. giving you more bills. <laughs> like, that's, that's it. Like, that ain't a dream, player. <laughs> well, I know it's a dream because I ran. And I don't really like running. Oh, man. Yeah, but he always catch me. Oh, man. I just had to share that with y'all get off my chest. Now, back to your regular scheduled podcast. Man. That's funny, though, son. I had a dream. I remember my mom turned to a Power Ranger. Was she the Green Ranger? No, man. She White was, Ranger. She was a Megazord. Oh. She came. She she was. She came there, bro. She sat down. She was rubbing my head. And all of a sudden, she just turned to the Megazord. It was like the human sized Megazord. Man, I ran so quick. I got out of Dodge. <laughs> That junk scared me, man. I'm like, wait, my mama didn't tell me she was this gangster to turn up, to turn into a Megazord. <laughs> it just out the blue. Yeah, the regular size Megazord. The regular size. She wasn't over Who the big fight. Bank robbers. Dude, I kid you not, I was in my living room. Man, I think it was Bloody Mary. What? We oh had, yeah, yeah, I we, remember that. Uh huh. I don't do that no more. Oh, Bloody Mary. Did they ever come out with a movie for that? I think they did. Is that even real? Oh no. We tried that well, boy. I never seen. I never seen ghosts, so I don't know. Cause I was just talking about that earlier. I mean, if I did see ghosts, I mean, they at least gotta give me the plug on some lotto numbers or something. Don't say the plug on some notes. They come and be whispering at you. Yeah. Sometimes that's what it be. Yeah, I don't know. That's what um, I'm just thinking. I don't know. I know. Uh, who was it? somebody said they used to see ghosts, or they can. See oh, them you mean like ghost hunters? No, it was somebody I know. Uh, she said she used to actually see them, and it was real spooky. I'm like, wait, so as we're having this conversation, well, wait a minute. what was she high or drunk? Uh, I think she, this is something that's been that went on for you since you were small. Oh, so all right, I guess. Man. Whatever float her boat Man I ain't lying bro I used to be We had the shotgun house I used to be scared I used to sleep in the living room By the I, front door By the front door Then the front porch Cause I always Cause we had a balcony And I always thought that a crackhead Was gonna come in and like break in So I was kinda like security But unconscious I don't know why <laughs> <laughs> Unconscious security guard I don't know but uh Flash like cop Man I used to Face the door, literally. I sleep, but face the door. I don't know why. And I used to have the weirdest dream. I used to have a dream that I was dreaming where I was at. So you stand outside the house? No, 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 no. In the same spot I was sleeping in, I used to have a dream that I was right there, doing exactly what I was doing in reality. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Son over there, look like you fall asleep. <laughs> you tired? Son? I ain't fall asleep. <laughs> Oh man, son over that time. So I'm blanking hard. <laughs> that's late night cast. That's what we do. We that's what we do. Late night to bring y'all this A two product. He said that A two product. Y'all past A one, you heard me? We gonna move it all. Nigga, he talking about me. Man, I told it's contagious. <laughs> I tell you that all the time. You coming up here yawning on the cast like I ain't gonna <laughs> yawn. It's a trend. <laughs> Alright folks We gonna go with this one man People confusing reality With social media Status Thinking they're real celebrities Oh yes This happened quite a bit People get so many followers on Twitter Instagram Snapchat Facebook But then they confuse it Like they really Are celebrities Well you have to think, man, there's people that I mean, I went to I went to the store one time and uh you know, I'm just walking, 
mind my business. Mm-hmm. Just mind my business. And uh, walk up to this guy. You know, he was short on change at the cash register. You know, I'm like, hey, huh, let me give you a dollar. He was like, man. <laughs> he was like, he was like, thank you. He was like, you know who I am? <laughs> I said, no. He said, seriously, <laughs> you know who I am? I said, I, I, I already said no. <laughs> <laughs> he said, uh, you must don't be on Twitter, huh? I said, you know, you know sometimes I be on there, not that much. He like, because if you was on Twitter, you would know who I am. And he kept saying, it's your boy boy. I it's said, what you mean? Boy. He said, hey, he said, yeah, listen, listen. He said, what I'm going to do for show my appreciation, I'm going to say thank you on my Twitter. I said, okay. He said, do you know how many followers I got? I said, no, because I don't even know you. <laughs> he said, man, I just hit 15,000 Yo, on Twitter. 15 G. 15,000. Dang. Still ain't getting paid. I said, I said, what, well, are you getting paid? Like, no. I'm like, well, you getting, you getting like gigs or something? He's like, no. I'm like, so what do that mean then? Uh-huh. He said, uh, that your boy boy is on the rise. He said, he said, uh, thank you. I'm out. Are you serious? So I was like, all right. <laughs> nah, that, that, that yeah, was it. That must have been his line. And that's when I knew that this social media is messing people's minds up Man. bad. Social media, it, it has a big, it play, it's playing a big part in our daily lives. And you know what, to be honest with you, as an adult, and I always stress this, as an adult, Why is it that you can allow another adult to get under your skin over the internet? Oh, you got a point there. Oh, that happens. How? With the celebrities, they be going over back and forth with this beef. You too grunt. Bro, I'm over here. If I'm making all of this money, you think I care about what you say? Me? I'll make it a joke. Oh, man, the game talking over there. Oh, man, boy, get out of here, boy. You ain't selling albums since since, boy. You tripping. (laughs) I'm just saying. I'll make a joke about it. I ain't going to cry about it. I ain't going to get, man, I'm about me. I'm about to get my goons. Y'all know darn well y'all with some honor roll student talking about some get y'all goons, man. Well, money do change a person. Man, money change a person and a perspective. Turn a person to Rambo now. Oh, yeah. Be like, say, bro, soldier boy, how you gonna go from making dance music to killing? I don't understand that. Why? Because he gotta maintain this street credibility. Man. Why do you want street? And but I'm just saying, man. This so see this social media. It has some celebrities. It's well, a it downfall for some celebrities. Everybody want to be famous. Yeah. Nobody want to be in the background. No, don't nobody want to be in the background. But not noticing Think about it Not noticing Think about it The background music Is what makes the money If you ever think about it I don't get it You don't get it? No The person in the background Two out of three Makes more than a person That's up front I mean like a producer Think about Like a producer and a manager You are You are the face Of cash well, money if you're a manager You're not making more Than the person Who you manage You sure? Now if they now if you start getting sell out arenas, you think the manager gonna get more than the person who sold out the arena? Well, think about if your manager has more than one person. Well, yeah, well, small yeah. people, then other people. Yeah. You're okay. Right. Think about. Okay. Think about. Baby and uh. Wayne. No, his brother. Slim. I think they was making more money because they were stealing it, but you know that's beside the point. Yeah. But I'm saying <laughs> they still in, they don't even want to give it back. They don't want and and that's that's bad. See me, I'd rather be the person behind the scenes. I wouldn't mind making an entrance, you know, 
Like if you're on an album, if I'm on an album, you'll see my name in the credits. You know, that's cool. People wouldn't probably look at it like Neo. Because Neo was writing songs for I everybody. Say, for everybody. That sounds like Prince. He was too. Writing songs for people, man. And nobody people was like, Man, who is this? Who is that? But this man is getting paid. He's in the background. Man, wait. You background no <laughs> what? You just made me <laughs> I just remember something. What? So, um, my cousin got this, his girlfriend, mm -hmm. and, uh, you ever hear about, like, the crazy obsessed fans? Yeah. I'm talking about, like, crazy obsessed. Yeah. So, she loved Prince. More than she loved Everything him. Prince. Everything. Everything. She had the necklaces on. <laughs> she like going through her her um phone. She got like pictures on pictures on pictures of print stuff. Mm -hmm. Like she know all his songs. You ask him off the top of your dome, she yeah. know it. Like how tall is Prince? Five two. How much you weigh? One thirty six. You be like, what in the world? What's his favorite color? Purple blue. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, it'd be a uh, purple rain. <laughs> I thought about that. Is it purple blue? <laughs> purple rain. Purple blue. <laughs> is that purple even a blue? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a new made up color. Eh? In well, store yeah. soon. But yeah, that, that's kind of crazy to see how a person can get so obsessed over another person. Man, you don't be seeing these relationships. Person being obsessed, man. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know how they do it. But then. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's considered love or like what do they play in the game from that. So I don't know. Y'all tell us tell us what y'all think. What y'all think about that. Man. Uh, man, I I just can't me myself, man. I can't see myself doing that. I guess it's just me. Like no, I, I think I have I don't have that much time. You, that's a lot of energy, man. That's a lot of energy. That's money. too much energy, man. You putting into towards a person who probably won't even know you, won't ever know you, won't see you. You'd be lucky if you get a a date or an autograph. Did you say a date? A date? Cause you know how they have like a the celebrities doing like, mean, like a, on the radio. Yeah. Oh, you can gotcha. win a date with such and such, or if you win this, hit this shot. You can, yeah. You lucky. I remember one time I got a PJ Brown autograph. You remember him? Yeah, played with the Hornets. Yeah, he came uh, to Six Flags. He signed my uh, my class Pitch. backpack. Oh. One, he's 2005. You heard me? Class 05. Shout out all the alumni. 2005. If you hear, if you heard this, shout out to Mr. Ed too. You heard me? Rest, I, rest. I about to say rest, I. But well, rest in peace. Oh, I'm gonna say, how he heard it? Nah, rest in peace. You heard me. He passed a couple years ago, but greatest principal ever. But um, but yeah, man. Reality. These celebrities, man. Uh huh. So what's I don't next? know what to say, huh? What's next? Well, for them. For um, us. For us. The fear of success. Huh. The fear of what, success. What, what exactly you mean by the fear of success? That's the one thing that keeps people from succeeding. So Fearing you mean of stuff that have people scared to do what they want to? Yeah, I ain't gonna oh. lie. At one point, that's how I was, and I ain't gonna lie. And that and that goes for me like on the uh, on the basketball court. Like at one point, man, I knew what I can do. I was just in fear of doing it. Because of it make, it make a lot of sense at, You think about it That's like Somebody said There's people that pract That that are great Practice players And then there's people That are That's like Alive Like your Kyrie Irving Or your Or your Kyle Jackson You see <laughs> I can understand it JR Kyrie and Kyrie Know this feeling And your JR Dots You know You say who me, Kyrie, and Kerry. Yeah. Put, yeah. 
put y'all on that pedestal, son. Put us on the cover of 2K. Cover of 2K? Yeah. They got George on it, son. That look like Nick. <laughs> you don't think he look like Man, him. he say so. Trust me. You gonna have to put a side by side of them two. I have to. Why am I have to do put it? Put it on two of them, see. Oh, man. When yeah. Nick was like 21. Oh, come on. When he wasn't carrying that belly, but you know, shout out to Cleet. <laughs> like your boy, be easy, son. But nah, man, I joke with him about that all the time. He Somebody else just told him that's who he looked like. And I told him, I was like, man, I been told you that, son. But, but nah, man. Yes, I don't know, man. Success, the fear of success, man. Some people may have... Well, a lot of people have big ideas, but are afraid to share them because of succeeding. Well, I think the fear of success is people are scared to fail. And that's and that's you know you don't want to try nothing if you know you're gonna fail, but mm-hmm. if you know you're guaranteed to succeed, you gonna, a lot of people do it. Yeah. But it's the thing about people failing that's the hard part for people to grapple around. You know, and you know what that okay? You know what that's like. The fear of success is like the fear of failure, right? That's like a man trying to holler at a chick because think about it. The average man will not walk up to a chick. The average man that ends up with a chick, two out of three, knows her knows the chick from a friend or they're close at school or work. So why do you think they wouldn't walk up to a random chick? Because how many dudes you know that won't that won't walk? Because I remember, I, I remember I was one of them. I knew my partners, a lot of my partners who were the same way because we all end up liking somebody who uh, who we knew, like in school. And this being shot down, just like an idea you have. Presenting your idea, presenting it to the world when you have a billion dollar idea, but you're afraid to to present it because you're afraid to fail. You're scared of rejection. You're scared of rejection. And a lot of men are, even women, oh, scared of man. rejection. Who you telling? And you think about it, and that plays a, man, the that fear. That plays a really big part. It plays a really big role in anything, man. And honestly, we as humans have to understand that we will not succeed in everything we do. If we don't try, we won't ever know how it feels to get back up. And that's what I say. If you fall, don't be like don't be like the commercial. Doubt, hit your button, fall, and I can't get up. Don't be like that, man. You well, these days, everything is so social now. So if you fall, it's like I mean, like if you not if you don't succeed in something that you really wanted, it's like times a thousand. Cause people feed off not seeing the next person succeed. Yeah. You know, rather than people encouraging people, people don't like to see people succeed because no. they feel that why do you have it and I don't? don't. Yeah, and that's true. People but. get like that, and that's all bad because at at some point you have to want to see another do well because what's the point of not wanting to, wanting that? I, you know, it don't make no sense not to. I say that's like another one. That's a poo. That's a poo way of thinking. <laughs> that's a very poo way of thinking. Did you say your pop say that? Oh, what? No. Poo? poo? Oh, my cousin Poppy. Oh. I ain't mad when we went back to New Orleans. That's all he was saying. Like, man, that's poo, man. Oh, shout out to my cousin Nene. Regine. Congratulations on your 18th. Well, how about you on your graduation? She is 18 already. But uh, she just had a graduation a couple of days ago, Friday to be exact. Wish we could have been down there to celebrate with her. But, you know, congratulations. She made it over the hump. She going to send you a day. bill. I'm going to send her a bill. That's the gift that keeps on giving. Man, who you telling? That's a Christmas story right there. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. What? I start sending out people, like, every holiday. A bill? Send them a bill. They were like, I got a bill with your like, name. Merry on. Christmas. They be like, yeah, that's because if they make a donation, you know, with a donation, make people feel very welcome, very welcome. Just so y'all know, <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> be like, oh, son, I got your pet. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold up. Why this Comcast? <laughs> Central Link. <laughs> Sound like me. 
<laughs> oh man, I'm gonna go home and get something ready. Hmm. I'm gonna go home and get something ready. You gonna go get something ready? Yep. So I think he's gonna get something ready. Okay, we got like two more topics, y'all. Bear with us. It's been a long road coming. Only two you weeks. You got but, that right. But hey, what can I say? The next subject we on here with is how to handle negativ- negativity slash critics in your life. Now, does that... Not, not see, Dust does your that, shoulders off. That's it. Yeah, that's pretty hard to do because you think about it. Like we were just saying, man. People take social media to heart. To heart. Social media is like the the new phone call. It's like the new family argument, or like the friend beef, or like the beef that you never had. Oh yes. You think it was? It's fighting over. A comment or an opinion. I want to know why. Well, that because everybody don't want everybody to have an opinion. You know, they just want you to be quiet. And no, it's more like if you don't agree with what they say, then they don't want you to have an opinion. That's what it is. You know, just like. With the Trump thing. Like, a person gonna hate you if you didn't vote for Trump because you didn't see it from their point of view. Mm, oh, that's true. But I then, if you that. didn't vote for Trump, you vote for Hillary, somebody gonna hate you too. Yeah, it is. So, yeah. most of the time, it's like not a win win situation. And that's bad for the simple fact is you have freedom of speech. I don't know where in the rule book, like I always say this, where in the rule book of humanity does it say you can't have an opinion? If I can't have an opinion and I'm. how OK, how can I change the world if we all have the same views on the same thing? If you feel it's safe for kids to play tackle football and I don't. What type of precautions are you going to take to whereas you making me feel that it's okay for kids to play football? Well, you, I don't, they invest a lot of money into that stuff, and and that's true. But some see, but see how some people feel one way, and other people feel another way. And honestly, in society, it makes it feel like what what you say isn't accountable. It shouldn't even go. And normally sometimes it's based upon statuses because a person will like a celebrity status that they can hit 20 million views. But let well, the same person, let that celebrity get that from somebody. They would be like. <laughs> well, I don't understand like the people who criticize all these other people who made it further than them. You know, like, I don't understand, like, how people criticize NBA players talking about they suck. But, like, you wouldn't play a one-on-one. Well, oh, yeah, well, that's true. You know, how you going to say somebody suck you wouldn't play a one-on-one? That's true. Or, like, even, like, rappers, like, how you going to say a rapper suck if you can't do what they doing? But you, okay, But you got to think about it. Young thug. Lil Yachty, Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, but people still like them though. That's true. In this and era, if it was, and if it was so, if it was easy, it'd be like thirty more, a uh, million more than. Well, you gotta you gotta think about it. Becoming a millionaire is easy or not? Think about the young lady off of Doctor Phil. It's coming easy. Oh yeah, she on her, she on her concert tour right now. See, look at that. But no, I wouldn't. But, have, yeah, man, wait, wait. wait. So I'm thinking, she on her concert tour. Is that her song? She's going to come out. How about that? Thank y'all for coming. <laughs> she's going to get paid off? Hey, man, she's going to get paid off. But but I'll say this. I, uh, I remember Lil, Lil Yachty and Joe Button, they had a little dispute. Joe Button thing was, Lil Yachty, you have the platform 
of where you at. So you have a lot of people's attention. Oh uh, yeah. I why you know why are you talking about what you're talking about? And Lil Yachty, I can see both perspectives. Lil Yachty said, "Well, man, I'm only 19. I haven't lived life like you did. You're okay. old as dirt." Well, what about future? How old is future? Almost forty. Future's almost forty. I think. So, oh, what about him? I mean, he got a platform, and look what he talking about. I mean, I can't not lie. <laughs> that is a catchy song. Which one? Percocet. How Molly you? Percocet. Percocet. Molly Percocet. That's it. Yeah, that's the hook. <laughs> that's it too. Percocet. Molly Percocet. Hey. Like I was saying, man, I ain't, I'm not work. You know what? I'm not gonna hate on the uh, work ethic, cause, cause, man, my, I, I got a cousin that's on the road right now. He told me, man, we work for like eighteen, sixteen, eighteen hours a day, man. And the next day, you know, we, we sleep all day. I'm like, y'all putting in that much work? He said, man, we in the studio all day, son. I'm like. Man, and I'm pretty sure these dudes probably they may be in the studio for all that time, but it's just the me as being an artist. It's just the message that they putting out. It's just you know what they're talking about, and that's why I would probably say, man, I can't believe they put this on Main Street. But I ain't knocking them because you know they they doing it. But I understood where Joe Buttons was coming from, but I understood where Layati was coming from for the simple fact Joe Buttons been through the road and riches. Yeah, he, him as a rapper, as a vet, he's been through it, so he knows what to talk about. Layati hadn't, he hasn't. He still probably only he say he say he doesn't smoke, he doesn't drink, which I don't know. But hey, if that's he said, it gives him a clearer mind. We're not taking any substances to make you feel better. Hey, that's him. What he talks about, what he talks about is for a gen. It is a new era, a new generation. He, a lot of kids want to adapt when you're talking about something different to open up your mind, to open up your ears. A lot of them don't adapt because it's not as catchy as just listening to the beat. Well, they just go with the flow. That's it. And that's what they do. Everybody doing Percocets, everybody going to do Percocets. Versus when we was young, dudes talk about doing it. Whoa, wait, player, player. Well, what you? Say, I think they were talking about what? Weed. That's it. Smoke weed, but now it's like they want you to pop half the world. Man, they want you to pop half the world and then start eating groceries. I don't understand Getting those that, bro. Knock off seizures. You say what? Getting knock off seizures and stuff. Knock off seizures, bro. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Here he go over here making us tough again. Knock off seizures. <laughs> no, nah, man, that's, I'm, I'm just, you know. It go with the flow. I can't be mad, you know. That's like with any of my cousins. If you know if they rapping and they talking about something, I'm not mad at them. That's they're in their, they're in their age and their era. Because when me and my partners first started, we didn't talk. About, we didn't. I didn't. We didn't make the music that I make. You know that we make now. I didn't. So what did y'all make? We we used to talk about women a lot. We use a cuss Because I use a cuss in my music But then Honestly I told him I said Say bro I don't feel genuine When I'm When I'm listening to my music I feel like I ain't being who I'm talking about I'm like Cause I really don't do that man So why am I gonna talk about it It's easy to talk about But it's more challenging When you actually sit up there And you write a bar That makes sense Verkus Perkus says Molly and these Perkus I'm saying That ain't no thought <laughs> It's just something that gets the crowd moving with the beat. And normally they have a fire beat. Yeah, he do got a good beat to that song. That's all it is. And these guys get credit for a beat. Mostly for a beat. So that's well, it. Well, no, you get, you, your song take off for a catchy hook. And that's true. You know, that catchy hook can skyrocket you. And that's true. So, I don't I ain't gonna lie. J. Cole said it. He... And in one of his songs, he said, "Would you rather be true and broke, or would you rather kind of go with the flow and be rich? Meaning, give the people what they want or what they're telling you to give them, or go with your gut feeling, knowing what can change." Because me, I, man. Well, you know who I, I like? D one. D one, he nice, son. The boys yeah. like him. 
Yeah, and then he don't even cut. That dude, he, he official. He, he be spitting. Yeah, I got to give it to him. Son but he probably won't get that mainstream. No, he won't get the Big main. time love like all the rappers who talking about killing and all that stuff. Killing and be like, bro, you can't talk about selling white and post up a picture. Yeah, but they do it like, they do like 10 albums deep, though. You cannot have did 10 albums worth of stuff. And it, but it'd be the same stuff, and the same stuff gets promoted. How can you? Okay, money, women, clothes. Money, went That's all and cars. Money, women, clothes, and cars, and drugs. That's the main thing. I try to sit up there. I ain't lying, son. I'm not hating on none of these people, but I sit up there and try to listen to Gucci. Couldn't. I ain't lying, son. When Cash said that this is like listening to ABC rappers, that's what this is like. Uh, it's a shame Cause think about it Even back in the day man When you had Marvin Gaye When you had um, Luther Teddy Pendergrass Teddy Pendergrass Man They sang songs But if you Actually read the songs It made sense Well what What single would you compare to them now? What single? What singer Would what you single? compare to like Them all time greats from black, back in the day? Cause Singer. they had timeless songs, so who right now would you say is the closest to that era of music from this era? Mm. Well, that's a good one. Who I like? Okay, Anthony Hamilton. I say Life Jennings. Oh, that's a good one. Music Soja. Oh, even though I haven't heard him. What about Bruno? Bruno. I give it to Bruno. I, Bruno is like the new and day prince. That's who he reminds me of. What about uh Jaheen? No, not. J- <laughs> he sound like one of them guys. Not Jaheen. Oh, uh, I can't remember. He he played the piano. Neo, not Neo. John Legend. His John Legend. Yeah. Yeah. John Legend. I heard his stuff good. John Legend. Um, Chris Brown. I I take that as a no. No, not Chris. <laughs> Breezy. No. Trey Song. No. Oh, I'm about to start listening to some underground singers. We, man, they do. You know, there's this one guy named R. Let me see. R. E. M. No. He got a song called Frustrated. I'm I frustrated. I think somebody over you. I think somebody just said something about that song the other day. Did they? Let me see. I ain't never heard it. Oh, man, it's nice. Uh let me see. let me see. Get my alphabet together. Um The name is R dot L U M dot R. And the song is called Frustrated. So y'all, when y'all get a chance, Google that. Google it at. <laughs> Listen to the song. Tell me what y'all think. Cause it's a different sound. And then there's another guy. Let me see what his name. He got a song called Location. Uh, let me see. Oh wait. Oops. Britney Spears. Boy, did you just say Britney Spears? Wait, I thought you were going to say, oops, I did it again. Oops, I did it. I can't find the other song, but um, Music Soul Child, Neo, uh, John Legend. Did I say Neo? You just said Neo. You said Neo like five times. Nah, his his album in my in my own words, boy, that thing was fire. I ain't gonna even front. He he put it on the mat with that one. I, don't know, I went to the barbershop the other day. They were playing all the old school cuts, Where like New Edition, Case, Silk, Jodeci, One Twelve, TGT. <laughs> <laughs> I always say that stuff because it's so bad. Yeah, that was horrible. You shouldn't even do that one in there. It was yeah. going good. You but I like that song. Help me be the best man I can. I know I know people know what I'm talking. 
I keep trying, but I'm stuck in my Wait, that's the one where Genuine was tweaking on stage? No, it, no, I'm talking about the actual song, not the live oh. performance. Because the one on stage, they was looking at him like, what this? Is he serious? I think he was he was going off something. Man, he probably was drinking some NyQuil. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he probably couldn't sleep. I'm just saying, man. But what what's what's the next one? The next one. This is our last one. Sports topic. Alright, alright. Broke professional athletes. Now we go a while about this one. Oh, yeah. Because it's a lot of athletes that go broke. You know, it's, I guess it's because they got that Robin Hood effect. Like, they try to go back and people take advantage of them. You know, people start spending all their money and wanting them to buy houses and cars and invest in businesses and all this other stuff. And before you know it, this person's career is over. And they ran through the their whole bag, their whole check. You know, with nothing to show for it, but just, I was just a professional player. That's it. Working or at some Buffalo level. Wild Wings in the back, listening to wait, wait, rock you and roll. You bring in Buffalo. I mean, you couldn't think of no other chicken about, stuff. Every time you couldn't think of no other, no other place. Hey, every time you couldn't say up, McDonald's. Hey, every time I look up, you be like, hey, man, <laughs> if you're looking for something good, they got the wings half off at Buffalo, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Hey, you stop by. Nah, nope. Man. See, see. Shh. Don't even work with you, man. Trying to help you out. You know what? You are. But nah, man. Who, who, who are some people who went broke? Warren Sapp, Antoine Walker, Ricky Henderson. Um, Ricky Henderson. You, you ever heard of him? Who did that? For the Oakland A's, the run baseball famous baseball player. Oh, yeah, from back in the day. Oh, um, oh, it's a lot of them. You know, who mismanaged their money and people steal from them and stuff. And I don't know. It it gotta be stressful being a professional athlete, especially when you're holding that much money. When you on those type of when you sitting on those types of stacks. Well, I guess it's when you have so many people who depend on you. I think some people put that depending upon themselves sometimes. Oh, I got you. I'll lend you this. I'll lend you that. That's it. You're like, uh, say, bro, you got that, <laughs> got that money. You don't want you. You rich, so you probably ain't even think about it. But shh, man, you need it. It's like, say, bro, I ain't got it. Shouldn't have gave it to me. You was rich, remember? Yeah, you right. But no, if you have, if you possess that that much money, in some at some point, you should wanna. He falling asleep, y'all. At some point, <laughs> at some, <laughs> 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 we got <laughs> some time. We gonna hurry up and wrap this up. But now, nah, man, at some point, you should wanna know what you have in your account. But that's why you have the the management team. But who shoot. manage your money But still You think about it man There's a lot of managers Who be ripping cats off Yeah they, they do not But then that, that just that You think you can trust These people Who you put in those positions Okay think about it Like a drug lord He always I'm pretty sure Has A person that he go to You're Like a lieutenant But then I'm pretty sure He has someone Who has tabs on that lieutenant To make sure That that lieutenant Ain't doing nothing then I'm pretty sure he has someone on the back of that looking after that person on top of him looking at after all these people. Well, I think their consequences are quite different. What? Well, what I'm saying, but if you don't, if you, but you have to, as a manager, that's what you should do. You should always be on top of the people that's on top of the things in which you have, including you. If you the boss, you should be on top of everything. I know sometimes it may get a little hectic, but. In order if you want things to flow like they're supposed to. Yeah, you got a point there. I don't know, man. That stuff just be... 
I guess it'd be so frustrating because on one hand, these are the people who helped you get to where you were, you know, get to where you are. But then on the other hand, it's a lot of more people coming around when they know you got something. Mm. That's true. That is true, man. So, yeah. But, hey, I think we're going to get ready to wrap it up. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a my, late night for us. It's a late night. I just got to go upstairs. He got to drive home. <laughs> Yeah, we out we out late tonight getting this in to make sure that y'all have another episode for next week so we ain't gotta rush. Yeah, you got that right. Hopefully we uh we're gonna try to we're gonna try better, you know, get back how we was at first. You know, life kicked in. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happened, you know, where we could bring y'all stuff like we wanted. Uh you know, we apologize for that. But we're going to try to have something each week. We're going to try to bring on more guests, probably some repeat offenders. <laughs> <laughs> Make it sound like this. You know, we're going to have people doing uh, some shows on their own. Like, hey, it'll probably be a show where me and Jerry won't even be on it. Yeah. You know, it's going to be other people talking, you know, taking taking the wheel. Take, you know. Take the wheel. Just to make sure y'all have something, you know, thank y'all again for listen, listening to us. And you got anything you want to say? Same like I always say. Well, we got to get an inspirational quote if you finna do those closing remarks. Okay, I got an inspirational quote. Here you go. The moment you go to sleep, the next day is a brand new day. Don't hold regrets while you're napping. Live life to the fullest like a battery bar. Wait, wait. You said don't hold regrets while you're napping? While you're napping. What about if you're sleeping? Same applies. Okay. (laughs) That was good. (laughs) So we go to poetry session. Poetry session. We're going to have to do a poetry session one time, but. We come to y'all, giving y'all thanks. Y'all know, y'all already know. Hit us up on Spreaker, SoundCloud, Twitter. No, no SoundCloud. Ran out of minutes. I feel like we pre prepared on yeah, SoundCloud. You don't, you don't need to let them know that. No, man, we cool. trying to be professional. No, this is professional. We got unlimited, we, yeah. like, data. Yeah, we got unlimited data until we try to post it and <laughs> until otherwise. <laughs> but nah, man, we on iTunes. Just hit us up. We on Facebook from the bottom page. If you haven't liked it yet, please hit that thumbs up button. Because if not, somebody else will take your position. Nah, just kidding. But um, he not really not. But nah, you already know what it is. Cal and J, Ed Day. Come, peace out. Looking to expand your playlist? Well, Fat Lulz Radio has got you covered. Your nerd culture can dissect it on the Fickle Fanboy with RPM. Get your fill of uncensored talk radio with The Robin Slim Show. Hear funny and interesting interviews on Unseriously Serious. Get the best life advice from Jerry and Cal on From the Bottom. Delve into the dark side of the internet with What the Fuck with Dan and Jess. Go across the pond for some British humor with The Ped and Meller Show. And if you're looking to get involved, air your grievances with all things nerdy on The League of Infuriated Nerds. All of these shows and more await you at Fat Wolves Radio. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and you can find our shows on all different types of podcasts apps as well as iTunes. Be sure to check us out. Fat Lowell's Radio. Stuff full of entertainment. From the bottom. From the bottom.